up you guys we're the weapon busters my name is sean i'm aj god is it hot <laughs> so what we do is we take battle ready weapons and we put them up to the test we have a cutting test we have a durability test and then we have a destruction test and we're doing this with all stuff that you can find anywhere i would not recommend doing this kind of thing he's the normally. professional i'm not i've had a lot of training with weapons he is Joe Everyman, so we're going to be doing two different tests. We're going to test to see how I do, and we're going to test to see how he does under normal circumstances. That way, anybody who goes to buy a weapon, if they don't have any training, you'll know whether you can use it. So, we're going to get this test started off with the water bottle challenge, cut test. All right, so real quick, before this actually gets started, everybody does water bottles. For one, you can actually test the fact that these things are sharp. Not only that, if they can cut through a water bottle, that it's means it passes stuff. the sharpness test. This is straight out of the box. This is Honshu Broadsword. It's made out of 1060 steel, and we're gonna see what it can do. All right, All right Honshu. Not used to the balance on this thing. No, it looks like it's definitely unbalanced. Three, two, one. Straight got cut. To clean the camera. That doesn't surprise me. That's what we want. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have to clean the All camera. Alright, point that on me. So guys, that was done with my take. And we're going to see what Joe Everyman, AJ, can do with this sword next. I don't think that was a very good cut. So out of the box, I don't know. What would you say? Like a 5 out of 10? I'd give that a 5 out of 10. I mean, it does the job, but not well. We'll see if AJ can get a better cut on it because you can tell with the water on the blade, I caught it right about in here. So we'll see. Yeah, all right. All right. Tell me one. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So I don't think that went very well. No. Because I got a lot of splatter. See? Yeah, there's a lot of splatter, but all it did was bust the bottle open. <laughs> did it actually get anything through? Or did no, it? it didn't cut at all. Wow. But at the same time, you're Joe Everyman, so. All right, uh, mind if I take one more swing? I mean, if you feel like you can. Yeah, I'll go this but way. But usually I think all we're going to do is just one swing each. Cause I'm trying to figure out that. Okay. Pressure. That's what happens whenever blunt force hits. All right. All right. We shall go on to the next test, which is melons. What do you think, AJ? Let's do this. And if you notice, I'm actually not putting my hands on the razor edge. We have protective gloves. I'm trying to clean off some of the excess water. We have protective gloves, that way we don't hurt ourselves in the process. Also, see. these vests are for, for our, our protection. So, all right. Um, they do cut our vision down slightly. Yeah. From the nose down, you are completely blind. Yeah, so I don't know exactly how accurate we are. I'll be honest with you, straight swords are not my strong suit. I'm really good with katanas and knives, so the melon is going to represent the flesh test. Melon is about the same density as flesh, so we'll see how that does. And if we had watermelons, we'd also have a snack test. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm coming from this angle. All right. Three, two, one. Okay, not bad. And it's a dead melon. Not bad at all. So, I guess with the right angle and edge, 
you can actually cut through pretty well. I guess the water bottle test may have been a fluke, but you never know. That's an edge test. This thing is supposed to be pretty sharp out of the box. So I guess we'll find out with Joe Everyman. Let's see how he does. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, once again I'm gonna approach from the same. Tell me one. One, two, three. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> that really... Let's try that one. This more is time. so awkward. Three, two, one. Go. Okay. So he's able to do it. That's Honest, the one that okay. he did right there. To get out of the shadow. So real quick. And I felt no resistance on both cuts. There's that. Now, keep in mind, everybody. This is not exactly the density of skin. It's just close. Uh, actual watermelon skin. would be a lot better considering. Then but hey, you, know. you work with what you got whenever you're starting out. Next test is going to be the coconut test. This is the one that I'm going to be most interested in because neither one of us has ever cut one. Skull. So there we go. Let's do this. All right, I'll get you coconut. This is the target I have to work with. It's so tiny, dude. I'm gonna have to be really accurate. No sh Alright. Okay, here we go. This is you want me to go first or do you? I've got it. We're making sure we do this in order. Holy. Holy. Uh, wait, are you approaching from this end to, or that end? I'm coming from this angle right here. Then I'm gonna step over here because my prediction for this is it's gonna fly. Alright. We might end up hitting our GoPro. All right. Three, two, one. It, it busted. Did we get any edge damage? No, you took the cup. Oh, where's the cup? I don't know. Oh, it fell. <laughs> <laughs> So, there's no edge no, damage. No, it broke! We have no edge damage either. You broke over the cup over. These things happen in testing. We're gonna have to build a better rig. Considering this was hot glued from a office chair? Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna have to take this as it is. Thankfully, the next test is bamboo, but come here and look at the edge. Alright, so I'm going to do it. I so, see it. that's where we hit, and I don't see any actual edge damage, which is surprising. Yeah, I honestly thought, milk. hmm? You see coconut milk. Yeah, you see coconut milk, but, I mean, for I'm something that's nice it. sharp, that's not bad. I'm going to go get Let's it. Check out the coconut. So, she flew a good, what'd you say? 15. 15 feet? About a good 15 feet. Did it shatter? No, but, ooh, you can drink that. Oh, look at that. Wait. You splashed look, it? Look, it split. It didn't split all the way through. But at the same time, I didn't do a very good cut. I'm interested in actually saving that. I think you could actually use that for another test. But it looks like we might have to bypass. It looks like we might have to bypass this. And I can always softball use one. No, I'm not going to be very accurate with that. Eh, fair enough. You know what? We'll save something like that for another time. Yeah. Obviously, the coconut is over. I will yeah. not be taking the coconut test because our somewhat rig, this was pieced together kind of hastily a long time ago. Obviously, we're going to have to do a new rig. Look at that for the blooper reel. We broke our rig on our first <laughs> time. All you, right. You well, can squeeze this and make this bigger. Well, thankfully, the next test is bamboo. the bamboo. Which since is going to emulate Since you destroyed bone. the coconut, I want to try this for the first shot. All right. That sounds like a good deal. 
Oh god, it got hotter. Oh yeah. Why do you think I got mine up on my head? <laughs> Alright, so I'm coming from this angle. No, you're coming from over here. And you're coming straight through there. Uh, part of me is living like a childhood fantasy. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> By the way, people, never get this close yeah. to the camera. He's the got his arms doing extended. Because I have protective gear on. Do not try this at home. 45 degree angle. Whenever you're ready. That's a big note. My turn. Yeah. Let me let's check. Oh, well, there's my impact. Yeah. You nicked it. And forewarning. Something I noticed, even with the gloves. Is there any damage to the blade? Oh. Still to zero. I see the coconut impact. Yeah, I don't see any damage. There she is. Right there. There's the wood. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. That's surprising. You're gonna have to dig it into the ground. You take this. All right. This is me giving it a try again. I am not proficient with long swords. I'm probably just a little bit more skilled than he is with weapons in general. But katanas and daggers are my thing. So it Let's see. Plus, I'm working with a messed up arm. Here in a month, I'm gonna be getting my arm worked on. So let's go. Ready? Set. Three. Two, Splice. one. Oh! Oh, ice crackers. Well, that was a better result. Much better. Damn, now I feel sick. Look, you can see where it went. Yeah. Now my question is, did this mess up the edge alignment? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold this for a second. Hang on, I see something. What do you see? Right in here. Oh, it, okay. It's it's nothing. Hold on. Yeah, it's nothing. Oh, that's nothing. Now, look down that edge. Still straight. Yeah. You know. That's a solid impact. One more bamboo. Up. In the camera up. A lot of people say 1060 is a, a mid base weapon steel. I think today with this, if it was sharpened and I had a little bit more practice, and we plan on getting to Tommy Mats out here to do some good testing, I think this could be a really viable weapon. We're going to get it sharpened up and we'll try this one another time. So basically, that'll be part of round two. In the meantime, guys and gals, we are the Weapon Busters. I'm not. I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm oh, Sean. My name is AJ, and this. And that's it for this one. Oh, the Honshu Broadsword. My headphone. I lose that. I'm screwed. <laughs> I lose this. I'm damn sure screwed. All right. Peace out, everybody. Later. Let me clean this up. And yes, I'm taking a water bottle. <laughs>